Galaxy 666 by Pell Toro. Session 61. Welcome back to Galaxy 666, your faithful guide Tug here. Our team is locked up for the moment, but are approached by the aliens who have been checkmated by Bronit on another line of the story. First things first. We begin with our team, having just been duped by the aliens, not sure what to do next. A situation very similar to the one they were in before they had been duped by the aliens, and before they had been captured by the aliens, and before they had met the aliens or crashed on the planet, or come to Galaxy 666 in the first place. In the end, they decide to sit around and do nothing. As they sit around, talking, of course, and becoming more upset with each other, Oski blurts out, Look! Which Pell takes the time to describe Ishklon Korzak's reaction to. But why did Oski blurt it out in the first place? What was the point of this injection? We would expect Oski to follow up his outburst of, Look! with some other comment, like, Look! I'm really hungry. But he just shouts the word. Look. And then says nothing more. What is Pell going for in this moment of Tourette's? Has Pell fallen asleep during one of his late night writing sessions? Then Oski says, Ah! Which is presented by Pell as a monosyllabic grunt vibrant with meaning. Ishkla doesn't think so. Ridiculing Oski by saying sarcastically, That was a profound remark for which he is accused of causing more tension in their numbers. Oski defends himself by saying, Then don't be sarcastic about my profound grunts. And then notes how vapid he sounds, saying, Sorry, that sounded a bit pompous, didn't it? Pompous isn't the word I would have chosen. Pell is at it again. He's just having fun on the page, writing down his stream of consciousness, and is half asleep and half strung out on coffee. He knows it's ridiculous, but who cares? He's going to finish the novel on time, just like the hundred before it, and no one is going to say boo to him. Next, two things of note happen. We have a genuine plot twist, and we get to learn what the aliens are actually thinking. The plot twist is now that the aliens need the help of the humans. This is quite a twine ball of a plot twist that needs a little bit more unraveling. First, we learn that the aliens are not in command of the ship. Bronit is. Even though Bronit has neither the knowledge of how to use the controls or probably even the ability to use the controls. Remember how the mesh screen was designed for the aliens? The staircase was designed for the aliens? Logically, the controls would also be designed for the aliens and not humans. The aliens also report to us that the ship is not responding to the controls. How do they know? To know this, they would have to understand what control input is being made and what the ship's response to it is. A control room implies the place the ship is controlled from. If there were a secondary control room, we could assume that the aliens would have simply used it. As they didn't, there appears to be only one control room. To control the craft, one would have to know where one is going, so all the navigational information is likewise most likely located in the same room. As there are no aliens in the control room, how do the aliens know what control inputs Bronid is making? Or what the response is? Third, unless there is a secondary navigation bridge... They would have redundant navigation, but no redundant controls? There would be no way the aliens would know that they were heading back to the planet. My favorite part of Session 60 is when the aliens are trying to explain why they need the humans' help in communicating with Bronit. It feels like an adult trying to get their child to understand why they can't have $10 for a soda. We can't talk to him. But you know our words. Really, we can't talk. We have no mouths. You can turn on a monitor. You're really missing us. We can't communicate unless we touch. You can write him a message. We can't write him a message in English, a language we do not know. Would you look at these? These are pseudopods. How am I going to write with these? Do you think we have pencils? You guys are killing me here. I can't believe you guys actually flew a spaceship out here. Seriously, are you in? Isn't there anybody else on this crew we could talk to? Our heroes choose to do next what they do best. Talk about it. What course will they next plot through? Galaxy 666. Here ends Session 61.